Karen Spaniello, and today I am interviewing one of the co-owners of Angel Hands Integrative in Vancouver, British Columbia, Shiatsu therapist, Michal. Today we're going to be speaking about how the uh, body gets affected by trauma. And I know that this is one of uh, Michal's uh, passions behind his uh, business as well, and uh, I'm looking forward to the conversation. Me too. Yes. So let's talk about the word itself, trauma. Ooh. Let's start there. Yeah. Um, and we're so uncomfortable with that word and even the word perhaps has hard edges to it mm. and if you could just share some insight and in what comes up for you when we, when we talk about trauma well I always uh, feel that trauma is what AIDS used to be in the 80s there's uh, <clears throat> nobody likes to admit that they have it nobody likes to talk about it and people like to hide it and there's a lot of shame around it and it's quite isolating and there's also a stigma attached to the word trauma that only this people only heterosexual only homosexuals have AIDS like in the 80s and only this type of people have trauma only the soldiers only the police or for example even someone going through AA or something like that that's right right that's right okay uh, but it's not true and once you dig a little deeper into what the numbers say, and I will say the numbers never lie, they don't tell the whole picture, but they tell a pretty clear picture and what the numbers are saying that in Canada, it's an epidemic. It really is an epidemic. And <clears throat> for example, I'm going to share some stats with you. Okay. One out of two women so 50% of Canadian women have experienced some form of either sexual trauma or some kind of violent attack. So that's one out of two women. Okay. Uh, I would say 90% of Canadians experience some form of trauma. And Canada has the highest rate of post-traumatic stress disorder in the world. Why is that? because we are not first of all people don't expect trauma to happen in a safe heaven so when it does happen it's it's really shaky and there's not enough community around people there's uh, not always a families to support them when they're going through trauma not a community to support them so there's a lot of isolation in our society not enough resources, not enough information, and not enough tools to deal with it. So you throw that into the mix and and, and uh, people can be walking around with, with wounds and, and not even know that what, what's causing the wounds necessarily. Mm -hmm.